हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पट दैट इज प्रोग्राम इवेल्युएशन एंड रिव्यू टेक्निक पट इज अ टूल यूज इन नेटवर्क ड्राइंग एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ योर प्रोजेक्ट ड्यूरेशन पट इज बेसिकली नोन एज प्रोग्राम इवेल्युएशन एंड रिव्यू टेक्निक part is used for your works which are carried out for research work or which are one time in a lifetime projects such projects can be covered under your part analysis now we'll see what is the technique actually part is designed for scheduling complex projects that involve many interrelated tasks it improves planning process because it forms planner to define the project various component activities then it provides a basis for normal time estimates and yet allow for some measure of optimis and pessimis in estimating the completion dates so it will give you optimistic as well as pessimistic time for the completion of your project it shows the effects of changes to overall plans they contemplated and then it provides a build in means for ongoing evaluation of the plans so in this our activities are interrelated and it will show you the change in your project duration because of the single activity how it will change so here we are dealing with different different types depend upon the project completion and it is useful for the very complex projects which includes n number of activities and it depend upon the various parameters now estimate activities time so there are three types of time we have to estimate the first is your optimistic time so in this time estimate of an activity when everything is assumed to go as per plan that is known as a optimistic time for example all the conditions are ideal conditions everything is going according to your plan in a smooth direction that is your optimistic plan in other words it is the estimate of minimum possible time which an activity takes in completion under ideal conditions as we have seen all the condition are ideal for your project so whatever you require no anything other events are hampering your project so in such type it is known as what optimistic time then most likely time now we have to calculate most likely time it is denoted by tm the time which the activity will take most frequently if repeated number of times so if we are doing the same activity in repeated number of times the amount of time it required to complete that activity that is known as your most likely time then we will calculate by your experience we can say that next is pessimistic time pessimistic time pp the unlikely but possible performance time if whatever could go wrong goes wrong in series is in other words it is the longest time the activity can take so it means what that eo that is your optimistic time is what everything is on ideal condition and pessimistic time is what considering all the delays and any wrong event happening the longest time will require to complete this activity that is your pessimistic time so we have to calculate three time estimates optimistic time then your most likely time and pessimistic time now expected time expected time the time are combined statically to develop the expected time p so definition or the formula to find p t means what is expected time of completion as we have three times so we have to find the expected time at which the project will complete the simple formula we have to use is to optimistic time plus 4 into most likely time plus 
T B, which is your precedence T time divided by six. This will give us expected time of completion of that particular activity. Now, next is standard deviation. We can denote it by sigma also. So, standard deviation of the time of the time required to complete the project is Tp minus To upon 6. That is known as your standard deviation. Pessimistic time minus optimistic time upon 6 will give us standard deviation. As we know, pessimistic time will be higher and optimistic time will be lower for the particular activity. So, longest time minus the minimum time upon 6 will give us standard deviation. Then, what are the steps involved in PERT? Now, first is develop list of activities. We have to find out the list of activities. Divide the project in n number of activities. So, find out those activities. After finding out the activities involved, a rough network of PERT is done. So, then we have to draw the network depend upon the activities we have find out and linking them together likewise we have to draw the network after finding out networks events are number from left to right as we have seen the rules of numbering after numbering from left to right next is time estimate for each activity are obtained now time estimate as we know what is t the formula is what we have seen in previous slide which is TO plus 4 TM plus TP upon 6. So we have to find out the time estimate for each activity. Then we have to find out expected time for each activity by using this equation. Whereas your time estimate will be found out by using the schedule network, the total time required we have to find out. Then using this expected time calculation earliest and latest finished and starting times we have to calculate so we have to calculate lst lft then your est and eft for that particular event this is your latest start time latest finish time earliest start time earliest finish time so we have to find out these four types for each activity that is your latest start time latest finish time earliest start time and earliest finish time then estimate the critical path so by knowing the duration of each activity and finding out your p and tl we can find out the critical path now steps involved in part so using the estimate compute the probability of meeting a specified completion date by using the standard normal equation now the standard normal equation said z is equal to due date due date means what you are t expected time to complete your project or you can say estimated time of completion of your project then minus expected time of date completion that should be your t if you talk about due date that is your ts we can denote it ts so we expect to complete this and expected time is your te which we have actually calculated by using your network that is your expected time upon standard deviation of critical path only so sigma of critical path critical activities so we have to add the standard deviation of critical activities only ts the time required due date and your expected date of the completion now for example over here we can see one question which will give you the brief idea how the part network works over here see we have the different jobs given the event name one do the activity one do or you can say activity a has a tail and head event one two so one two optimistic time that is your word to most likely time is TM and precipitatic time is TP. So these are given duration in days. By knowing this, now what we have to do? By knowing your optimistic time, most likely time, and pessimistic time. 
we have to find out what t finding out t then we have to find out what we have to find out standard deviation of each activity so here over here you will increase the columns and find out te of each activity then we will find out the sigma standard deviation of each activity by knowing this standard deviation now we can find out the probability of completion of your particular work for example if we have to complete the project within 30 days so ts will be 30 days due date and ee is 34 so expected time is 34 so we have to find out first z so z is equal to what ts minus your te upon standard deviation of critical activities suppose 1 3 2 6 3 5 and 4 5 are critical activities so we have to add this four standard deviation and by knowing the standard deviation we can find out the value of z so z is what your z is your normal deviation by knowing value of z we can find out the probability of happening of any event so probability can be find out by using a normal standard deviation curve over here i'm drawing it so this curve generally represents z on your horizontal axis and curve will give you probability of completion so 0 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 plus 1 Two and three. So we have some values of probability of happening if z is equal to minus one minus two minus three. Table is given. The table will be given in your numerical. So we have to find out z first. By using this z, we can find out the probability of happening of that particular event. So in this video, we have seen what is the PERT network, what is the PERT technique, and by using this PERT technique. We have to calculate first three estimated time by using this three timing. We'll be finding out estimated average time that is T, then standard deviation, and by using this, we'll be finding out the probability of completion of that particular event within the expected due date. Thank you.